Morning everyone, Saturday morning, Scott here. Um, it is nearly 10 o'clock, um, it's saying 1 degrees Celsius. For, for, for flipping freezing. Um, I worked in a, uh, worked outside for till, uh, from the age of 16 till, I don't know, 36, 7, 37 I suppose. Um, wind, rain, snow, all those good things. Um, last six, seven years, um, worked in a garage, uh, worked in a, an office. And it's turned me into a, a girl. No disrespect to girls, obviously, but it's turned me, it's beaten the, uh, beaten the roughy tufty out of me. So I really find the cold, I don't know if that's just like getting older or not used to it, but anyway. Um, had a good couple of hours um, this morning, well three hours this morning, watching, uh, catch up with videos, seen some brilliant videos. Um, I can see that Neil's got his heating sorted out finally by, um, he's just putting more clothes on and grown some more hair, so that's that's pretty good, sort of sorting out his, uh, his uh, cold weather problem, so... Um, you know, a lot of uh, HPR and Darren and and all the uh, the usual suspects. Um, um, so yeah, good. Um, I want to see Ruben pull that um, that knocking engine to bits. I want to see what's going on in there. That'll be good fun. Um, so I'm set up. I've got a big flask of nice coffee. I've decided to. Uh, Shrug the um, the syrup in that's uh, that's running around my muscles at the moment because I'm I'm uh, feeling like a lazy mood. So, but uh, I'm going to shrug it off and get going. Big flask of coffee. Made myself um, egg bacon and mushroom and cheese sandwich to bring out to, to get me going because I've been a good boy. Um, I'll quick look at uh, my fuel tank. Oh, I've got some heating on the go because it's flipping freezing. Um, because my my uh, my little workshop is so small, hopefully I I said to you the other day I think I showed you these I'm not sure but Mary bought me my charity shop um, one of these little buggers um, and the little fan heater um, the other day and um, hopefully it'll it'll be a matter of uh, just getting the chill off in the morning for a few minutes and then. Uh, turning it off because they're expensive to run so a quick look at the molasses see what's going on in there oh nice smell not a lot but it's looking all um nice and goopy in there so we'll see what's going on with that we've got a john carey type sky which usually around here means it's going to be for, for, for freezing. But anyway, so um, I'll, uh, the main job of the day is to get that um, that front wing fitting properly. It must be lighter. That's what I'm looking for. But anyway, look, um, try to find uh, get some lights on. <laughs> um, so the main task of the day is to get this wing to fit properly. Uh, I'm not happy with this up here. It's pulling like hell on this top flange. I'm going to hook that um, seal out, see what's going on. I may have to do a cut, cut and reweld, and see what's going on. Alright, guys, I'll catch up with you. Hi, everyone, um, Scott here. Um, just a very quick update. <clears throat> I've been uh, all day pretty much on this um, this front wing, and I'm got to the point where uh, I don't think I'm going to get any better. So <coughs> um, we ended up um, putting about a four four mil fillet, a little strip of um, metal in the uh, I cut along the top of the wing. I'll show you. It looks uh, looks rough, but um, I got to the point where I just um, got to put the bodywork in now. 
I'm growing a bit of a beard. Um, so I just want to show you that. I've um, got to a point where I've, I'm happy enough with it now. It's, um, the door shuts. Um, the gaps look okay all around the door. Um, but I've come to a conclusion that I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and that someone with my my age I should have uh, thought about first, but I, I'll show you in a minute. Um, Alright, so we've got... Uh, I suppose you've got to make it worse to uh, make it look worse before you can make it look better. I've got um, basically had to cut it right up to here. Let me finger right up to there. Put a disc cutter into it right up through there. Open it up and um, put start off um, sort of a four and a half mil, and then sort of slowly tapered off. Um, a fillet in there. Uh, and uh, I was sort of kicking myself, thinking, well, you know, I, this wing I pretty much made, uh, put back together again after cutting it off the first time. And um, so what I basically did to make make that wing, or to, to get that wing back in shape again, I, I basically put it next to this one and took all my measurements off of this one and uh, transferred it over to the other wing and then got them so they fitted each other. Does that make sense? Um, which should have been okay, but what I didn't allow for, which seems pretty stupid now I think about it, but <clears throat> anyway, I did it and that's that. What I didn't allow for was the fact that this top panel here um, is all one piece, obviously, you can see, fits up against the, uh, let's just chop, chop this down. Um, obviously fits up against the window frame. Or the windscreen frame, the, the I don't know what you call it, a scuttle panel, flitch panel, one of those, anyway, we call them funny things. Um, what I didn't allow for was the fact that this panel, when it was put together in the factory back in 1957, um, isn't quite central with the rest of the car, which was a bit, it's, it is at the front, um, but it isn't at the back. Uh, it's, a, it's this four mil, just over four millimeters, which is what uh, three sixteenths, I suppose, off of centre, which isn't a lot, you know, in the day, but it's enough to um, to not allow me to get my wing on without it pulling like buggery on the bolts, um, which was which set up its own set of hassles, and I think that's why in the end I ended up with so much problems, so many problems elsewhere with the door fit and. And everything else, my wing was sticking out, all sorts of weird things. So, stupidly, um, you know, I should know better, but uh, I should have taken a lot more measurements and uh, not trusted it, I suppose. It's probably what I mean, but um, I think cars nowadays are probably made with a lot finer tolerances, probably. The jigs are um, probably made better, etc., etc. But anyway, so. so you know, I'm okay with it. It's, it's, um, it's all about learning, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, but, um, there we go. It's uh, one of them things. Um, I'm happy enough with it. I've just got to do the, the body work on it now. And um, uh, I've, I did spot welds along the top and, and uh, solid welds underneath. Um, as I guess I'm kind of lazy a bit, and I didn't want to grind. I didn't. I haven't ground any of the underneath <coughs> of the wing off. Um, I hate grinding. Horrible. Isn't it? Anyway, so uh, I did spots along the top, small runs, um, and solid welds underneath. So it's, I'm happy that it's strong enough. Um, so I'm left with a couple of mil, a couple of millimeters of. Um, um, ravine, I suppose, I don't know what you call it, um, to fill up to, to get to shape. So that's, and I've decided I'm not, um, I'm going to do all the body work whilst it's bolted up. I'm not, the, the wing is now never coming off again. It's been on and off like a special lady's drawers. And uh, I've got to stop doing that funny thing with my eyes. I looked at myself yesterday and it looked weird. Um, anyway, so. 
this this one single wing has given me more hassle than the rest of the car put together. So lots of lessons to be learned, even despite the fact that I've done this before. You know, I'm not it's not I'm not completely brand new to it, but um, maybe it's complacency. I don't know what the word is, but I should have known better. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> but I'm okay with it. I'm not beating myself up over it. Um, and I'm quite happy that I actually spent the effort and got it right because I was, you know, I have got a tendency of going, well, that's near enough, that's good enough. But this time I wasn't happy with that. I think it's because the boss is, it's going to be the boss's car and um, she won't be happy. So, and if she ain't happy, I ain't happy. Because um, she feeds me, you see. And um, anyway, waffling on like a buffoon. Um, so yeah, happy with the door. The door fits nice. Um, I've got uh, the gaps are okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm quite happy. Um, something weirds happened with um, with my YouTube. I, well, unless it's just that people aren't making any videos. Excuse me, but um, I went on there. Uh, I said yesterday and um, watched a few. This is Sunday. I think the start of the video will be yesterday. Um, went last night and there wasn't any more so whether but what I have done is um, Jeff Chance John showed us how to change our name on our um, on our channel and I've changed my name from because because of my, my actual YouTube username is really is difficult to say even for myself um, so I changed the name in the top by my avatar to Scott's Garage but whether it's something to do with that or whether it's just people are busy doing other things, I don't know. Um, yeah, let us know if I, if I, uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, so that's it. I'll stick this up. Um, thinking about taking the camera to work tomorrow and show you um, one of the lads um, fixing up that tractor hitch. See the sort of carry on the sort of things we do at work. Um, and it's about uh, five o'clock. I was planning on getting in and seeing if there's any more videos to watch. Um, see now, down VW Downs, we get on with his transmissions and looking forward to any um, Unky Scott's updates with, uh, with Greg's, Greg's power there. Um, see what's going on. Um, hopefully Reuben strip that engine down so anyway Sunday afternoon signing off catch up with you bye bye